What do you think about your shooting? Is it okay? Kaput. Kaput? I think it's kaput. <laughs> Mike, uh, can you tell me what rifle you have in bullets? I mean, it would be a... How did you get 280 Remington mm -hmm. with 160 grain bullets. Mm -hmm. so you happy with it? You happy? Dead. Good, good. So. Exactly. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was scared not. Now we will see. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So we're starting our trip. <laughs> oh, in our Range Rover. Because <laughs> I started doing it. <laughs> so three kilometers by car and after by house. <laughs> Several hours. <laughs> and after, 129 centimeter mid Asian Ibex. <laughs> Very help. Tonight. Very help. <laughs> nice hiking. Second Ibex tomorrow. Okay. 131. <laughs> the guy from Alaska, yeah? <laughs> Everything very quick. So the boys, what is going on? We just arrived. We just arrived and we're having tea and we're getting ready to take a long nap and call home and check in on our wife. And then tomorrow we'll start hunting. 153, 153. What idea to try to jump and start it? There's no try to it. John's gonna go over there and shoot a beauty. And then I'm gonna run over there and pet it while he's not looking. <laughs> Today is October 10th, 2014. Um, we shot this Ibex on October 9th yesterday, right at dark. We had about a, the first day we got into camp in Kazakhstan, just out of, outside of Shimkent, and then we got rained out the first day. The second day we got up early and rode horses a uh, long ways, about for five hours, and got to camp, set up camp, and uh, at camp there's probably, oh, 10 inches of snow, and then we, uh, we found two good sized groups of billies. There's probably, we've probably seen about 50, at least 15 to 20 of them are 115 centimeters or bigger. We did, um, did a couple hour stock on this one and then sat for about two hours freezing. And then finally it came out to where we could get a shot and got a shot and put it down with one shot. And it ends up measuring 33 centimeters. Um, so it's a super trophy and there are, 
there's at least five more, if not if not more, that are that are over 120 um, in in the group. Um, so we've had an outstanding hunt and a, and a great time. At what was this distance, Johnny? Uh, oh, I got we got very lucky on the stock when we finally did the shot. I never actually ranged it, but we were only about 100, 150 yards. So it was a very a very close shot. It says from that side is up. Yes, from the up. Correct. It's up there. Okay. We shot downhill towards the mm. towards the ibex. Okay. So now is uh, Mike morning try to get his ibex. Yep. So, so you you can rest. That's right. So Mike, Mike Monin from Captivatum Outdoors. He's gonna he's gonna go after his today. There's actually a, a group we've spotted, and uh, as soon as we get this one cleaned up, they're gonna head over the mountain, and, and he's gonna start the stock on on going one for his. That group probably has 30 to 40 billies in it, and several big ones. So that'll be what he's doing now. You have this, you should fall down after you shooting. So, hopefully, but when we see hopefully. it, <laughs> let's see where is it. I help it! Oh, my ladies! Anyway, let's make sure. Let's go, let's see if it's going to be. No, he's not going to come out. No, he's not going to come out. But there are good people, many good people. It's normal, he's going to fall. He fell down. Well, hello from Kazakhstan. I think it's October 11th or 12th, I'm not sure. We've lost track of days. <clears throat> Watch a, a herd of billies for a couple days, 40 or 50 billies. John shot one on the other side two days ago. And our first day in camp yesterday, we watched these guys. This morning, we made about a five and a half hour hike, three hours of it in the dark. Got around on top of them. And this certainly isn't the biggest billy in the group. And there were several this size. We were after a really, really big one, but we got a good shot at this guy and took it. Um, 250 meters, 300 wind mag, and he was kaput. It was not easy to shoot for Mike because, as you remember, Mike, it was the stone was close the body, and when the close the, the stone close body, it's very difficult to shoot. Yeah, so we, who was waiting when he stand up? We had we had to wait for him to stand up. He was behind a rock. <clears throat> he stood up broadside, gave us a good shot. Didn't, didn't have the best rest in the world, but it was close enough. And we took advantage. Actually, it was just my opinion about it. I was a little bit worried about shooting because Mike uh, had not a comfortable position for shooting because it was only a small part of stones where we can shoot because from left and right side it was many IBX which they took it to us. So I should say thank you to Mike for his shot. The shot was very, very good actually. And the IBX ran a little bit. How many minutes? He ran 20 meters and slid down the hill another 80. So in, from the base, uh, in the Alice Guard, our guys said, guys, you should it, you should it, because we couldn't see. So of course we was happy. I should thank you, I should say also same to John from yesterday. He also shoot uh, very, very good, very good IBEX. So for now, what we have? We have the Mike Trophy is about 1 meter, 30 centimeters. So I think it's a very good result. And we hope our next hunter, Clark will shoot today or tomorrow. So my 
Thank you very much for your trip, for your hand.